close attention. You know, you don't have to jump in it, but you know me, you know me, my middle name is Exaggerate, and I like to exaggerate. That's what I do, okay? That's what I do. I don't know what you do, but my middle name is Exaggerate. Now, what that look like to you? What that look like to you, ladies? What, what? Drop it low, girl. Drop it, drop it low, girl. So you already know what it is. And if you tell me this doesn't look different, then you're lying. Okay? So what you got to do is call me 617-315-2478. Okay? And I got you. I got you, Penny B. Schaefer. And I'm going to help you out. By the way, it flattens the abs. And you can work out in it. And it lifts and raises and firms Brazilian goose. So we're back. Chubby cheeks and all. <laughs> Stop making me yeah. laugh. So I stopped at two kids, okay? And doesn't mean I didn't have any goals, but I knew what I wanted. No, but I just didn't have my finger directly on it, but I knew what I wanted. But I also walked across the stage with my son when I graduated at 16, 17. Um, I had another child. I had my own apartment at 17. I had a vehicle. You know, but then I realized that, you know, the person that I'm with, that I'm having these kids with, is not going to be the one for me to like, progress with. Progress and grow with. You see what I'm saying? So I had to stop that as well. <laughs> So what I'm saying to you is, realize what you're doing. Be aware of your surroundings. If you have somebody that's not going to do what he's supposed to do, then stop. Don't keep having kids by him. Don't go to the next. What you need first, and then think about having children. But you know what? You may be 40 years old until you decide what you want to do. Doesn't mean you have a child then. Because, you know, that uh, um, autism... Uh, develop stages of autism. Um, what else Down occurs? Syndrome, Down syndrome, Down everything. syndrome, everything. You know, um, health risk for the mom. Messing with the old sperm. Messing old with eggs. the old sperm. It's just not the sperm good. that's not thick. The sperm that's all watery and just looks like he just goes straight through. <laughs> like, and then But you can't just blame you know? the old sperm because them old eggs don't be working either. They don't. They be blank. <laughs> they be blank. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I'm not, I'm not saying it like that, though. But listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you can't be 44 and have a kid, because my mother did. My mother was, how old Erica? Erica is 14. How old is my mother? Your mother's not in her 50s, so she wasn't in her damn 40s. <laughs> no, but she was past 30, you know? So what I'm saying is that, you know, you know, but this is, Going somewhere else. We need to get back into the health issue. Right? Subject and talk about bitches who have kids all day long. Let's Come talk on. about bitches that have kids all day long. Let's talk about it. No, seriously. Let's talk about bitches that have, who have kids all day long and have a no good ass nigga sitting on their couch show. Like, no bullshit. Yeah. Or bitches who be what collecting about? SSI. And all their kids got SSI now because I can't think, I don't think they can collect both. Oh. So let's talk about all the bitches who be having kid after kid, half their kids on SSI, and you got this no good dude sitting on your broke damn couch. <laughs> I mean, he ain't trying to help you, you know, y'all all sitting on the same broke same couch. Same broke couch, no or, legs. Or, you know, y'all don't have a bedroom, y'all don't got a bedroom set or something, so y'all all sleeping on the living room, you your kids, everyone sleeping on the couch, somebody sleeping you know, what's the dude in your house for? That's all. That's all. That's all. My thing is, if you was not going to grow with me, what's the sense? Like, I could do bad by myself. That's my all point. All day long. Like, I could do bad by myself. There's no need to sit there and have dead weight lingering around. If I have two kids, ain't no need for me to have a third one if I ain't push it out. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I ain't push it out, ain't no need for a third individual in my establishment. Like, seriously. Like, there would be no way. If a dude can't do for me and mine, what are you here for? Yeah, so, like... 
A lot of you guys, a lot of you females out there are so trapped in the mind of it's about you, it's about you, it's about you. When you have children, it's not about you anymore. And you need to get that through your head. It's yeah, not about it's you not anymore. About anymore. It's about you and your children. It's about the growth and the development stages of your children. Understand what I, what I say to you, okay? So, for you guys that have the men coming in the door, back door, front thinking door. Thinking it's cute for your kids to be seeing your, all your friends like you want it's to tell Oh, that's my friend. No, it's, it's not, not cute it's at not. all. Oh, no, it's not cute. Kids no. walking around like, oh, my homie has a lot of friends. Just crazy. Mm. Or all you females that think it's cute or think y'all y'all stuff is the bomb as y'all want to put it, oh my stuff is hard or whatever, you know. Um thinking y'all have these little have these men in your house, but y'all house ain't clean. Like, come <laughs> on, yo, y'all, y'all, y'all think you're doing it because you got your little exactly. section aid and you got somewhere for you and your kids to stay. Okay, that's cool. That's all well and good. But clean your house. Like seriously, clean your house. Stop having all these kids. It just doesn't make any sense. If you know you ain't had no GED, try to get your GED. Try to get something. Try to get something. Because how are you going to teach your mom, children? Try to get your GED because sooner or later your children will be graduating before you will. Mm -hmm. And you ain't gonna know shit to teach them. Kids are gonna know more than you. <laughs> like come and on. You gonna be kids sitting there sense. like dum dum da <laughs> big cheeks. <laughs> It's a gloomy day out, okay? Um, what can I say? It, it rains all day today. I'm getting ready for this birthday party on Saturday for the kids. And I just want to make sure that Chunky Cheeks is down by that time. At least by tomorrow. I've been popping penicillin. Um, they gave it to me over the desk for free. Believe that, for free. You see what I'm saying? So she did hook me up. She gave me four of them. So I think I'm going to go down to Boston Medical at 5 o'clock in the morning. So I can give me a number so that I can really give me some service because they got to dig into something. And I want this out by Saturday morning. And then what's so crazy is, why did one of her children ask her <laughs> for something in her mouth? Like, the shit's so fucking big that it looked like she got a fucking big-ass jawbreaker just sitting in the corner <laughs> of her mouth. And it's not, and I feel so bad. Those that know me, okay, if you know me out there, I think you know my son Troy. So he says to me, What's in there? <laughs> so I said, Troy, don't say nothing to me. He said, but for real, there's nothing in there? No, Troy, there's nothing in my cheek. I was, they were so ignorant. Hold but on. He was so serious Hold on. with it, though. That's not, that's not even the worst. How about this? <laughs> we're going to go to commercial. Yes, because how was that so unprofessional? She was supposed to turn that shit off. Off. <laughs> off. That might be the kids' call, so we're gonna go to a commercial break, okay? Why people always blame it on their kids? 